Hello, I'm Rob with the B, the guy who's going to show you 101 ways to make a fire. In my last video, you met my new lady friend, Roberta. I'm going to impress her with my cooking skills. I've laid on a romantic gourmet dinner. Now, um, you can eat baked beans cold, but it tastes a little bit like um, stale vomit. Don't ask me how I know that. Once again, I've left the matches over yonder in the car, and uh, I don't want to be away from her side for a minute. So I'll have to come up with another way of making fire. Perhaps, um, I don't know, something shiny, parabolic in shape. It would be great if it had a little handle that I could sort of hold on to at the back to aim it at the sun. Hmm. I wonder. In fact, something quite similar to the... Uh, ah, that'd work. Okay, we just had to move across into the sunlight over here. So we have the lid of our pot. It's quite reflective, but obviously it's not a perfect mirror. However, it's much bigger than the beer can we tried previously, so I don't think it's going to matter. Even though it's uh, almost four o'clock in the afternoon, on the shortest day of the year, I think we still have enough sun to get this thing going. I've taken a thin reed and just split the tip of it with my thumbnail. Um, into that I've inserted a little piece of black char cloth. We've got to be quick because the sun's going over the horizon. Let's see if we can still do this. Can you see that? We got smoke. Now I've made myself up a little bird's nest here using strips of paper from the label of the baked bean can uh, mixed with some dry grass, other small sticks and stuff. Behold! Fire! Bon appétit! And to you, my dear.